Yo, with the M4 setup I got for you today, this thing's nasty. So for the setup, this is a pretty similar setup to one that I've shown you guys in the past, but I believe it is still new to the channel. First thing you want to do is go over to the muzzle, and we are going to be throwing on the FJX Fulcrum Pro, although this isn't the best muzzle. There really isn't a best muzzle in the game. They all kind of do the same thing. Usually, I would run the Sock and Tread 40 because that specializes in the vertical recoil. It really squish down that recoil, but that would actually cause a lot of horizontal recoil, so I don't always run it. The M4 gets a little bit weird with the socket, and just overall, I found that the FJX Fulcrum Pro was the best one, and then you want to tune it. By the way, do you want that Orion camo, but you're just a little bit too busy to grind through all 2,000 camos? If so, you should definitely check out Guapsi. Guapsi provides weapon level and services, camo unlock services, challenge unlock services, such as the Warzone Nuke, and many more for all the platforms. By bringing up the recoil stabilization, which that is is going to reduce the horizontal recoil on the weapon and then bring up the gun kick control reducing the vertical recoil on the weapon and so it should have way less recoil making it very easy to use but it is missing a little bit of mobility and a attachment that i run on every single build this is basically like the first attachment i add whenever i'm building a new build that's going to be the x10 grip because it adds so much sprint to fire plus it makes the weapon very snappy especially when you go to tune it and then whenever you have the option increase your sprint to fire me please increase that value that is a very very crucial thing since the majority of guns are pretty slow and then for the tuning just increase the ads and that sprint to fire speed for the next attach we are going to be adding a little bit more mobility to the weapon and a great way to do so is by adding the tempest p80 strike stock although if you are using this build and you're like damn this thing has so much recoil i can't really use it then i would add the ravage 8 and then if you want even more recoil control we're still having a decent amount of mobility run the demo fade pro stock for me i would say i am a pretty good player and i can control the recoil so i can get away with running something that will give me more mobility which that mobility will help me get into more gunfights and you'll pop a little movement on the enemies this setup with the no stock is actually very fun too it's just i only really run the no stock on shipping because the gun is very uncontrollable with the no stock and here's the tuning that i recommend for the tempest p80 strike if you do want to use a different stock i would give it the same exact tuning which the same thing goes for the Fulcrum Pro. If you want to run a different muzzle, I would tune it the same way that we tune this. And so now we got a lot of mobility. We got a decent amount of recoil control. But when I bring this into the firing range, you are going to see that there is still a little bit of recoil. Like it's pretty controllable but at long range it's not the most controllable so to make this weapon a more consistent more versatile weapon go over to the underbarrel and throw on the edge 47 which the edge 47 and the f-tech ripper are going to be the two best underbarrels for recoil control but they do hurt the mobility the most and so that's why sometimes on this build i'll run the commando forb and then if i'm really feeling myself i run the phase three or the shark fin 90 but overall i feel like most people are gonna like the edge 47 you still have a lot of mobility with this build and then this is just going to add so much recoil control allowing you to beam people from anywhere in the map and then for the tuning just increase the aiming idle stability removing the sway on the weapon and if you have less sway on your weapon that means you're going to have a more predictable recoil pattern which is basically going to make the weapon a lot easier to use and then bring up the recoil stabilization furthermore bringing down the horizontal and so now the weapon is going to be very stable and it really doesn't need any other attachments from here it's just going to be a personal preference thing and I swear this game got louder after the update. Like everything is so loud. I don't know why. So for the attachment that I am going to be running in the gameplay, I am going to be running the overpressured rounds for the tuning. Bring up the damage range. And so now you have about 4% more damage range on the weapon. And then bring up the recoil steadiness. Furthermore, reducing that horizontal recoil. Yes, we are losing our ball velocity, but you're not going to notice that whatsoever. And so now this is the setup that I'm running in the gameplay. But if you don't want to run the overpressured, I would actually run run a laser this choreo sorry the ole laser this adds a lot of mobility to the weapon and so much aiming stability to where you actually can tune your underbarrel for more aim walking speed instead of aiming stability because this gives so much of that although the enemies can see your laser and so that's why i wasn't running it today but it's i still run it a lot and then for the tuning on that just bring up the mobility of the laser what you guys can also do is add an optic the optic i recommend is the chrono mini pro and then i would just make it very far away that reduces like the visual 
dual recoil on the weapon and then i would just max out that flinch resistance although for me i actually really like the iron sights so i'm not going to be running an optic maybe if i'm on shipping i'll run a 45 round magazine or a 60 round mag so i don't need to reload as often if you do want to run a barrel honestly the only barrel that i would run is going to be on this setup you got the high tower barrel this is another very good setup if you want more recoil control take off the overpressured and then add one of the muzzles i showed you earlier but with all that said let's get into the nasty mgb gameplay okay ladies and gentlemen i already had a nice gameplay but the footage was corrupted so we're back at it we're gonna drop an even better mgb with one of my favorite m4 setups got the raceway map don't really care for this map but you know what we're, we're gonna pop off anyways doesn't matter it's always good to play on the maps you don't like because then you get practice and then you play better on them but a lot of the maps in this game there's just no flow like the new map i don't really like that map like it's cool but i just don't get that many kills like if i'm playing on a smaller map you all get like 80 kills a game if i'm playing on the bigger maps it's like i'm lucky to get 30. i'm falling asleep okay oh, shoot wait wait, wait. where's this guy coming from Dude, this pistol is so nasty let me know in the comments what your favorite secondary is because we got a new pistol so i'm curious if people are running a new pistol or if you're still running like that p890 or whatever because like this pistol i love it so much just a little pocket smg eh, eh, ah, 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 ah. i missed my shots i'm so sorry i apologize mister see how i'm like rotating through different areas so i can be less predictable All right there wasn't the best area to rotate from just because all my teammates were over there three two one boom nope oh i see you buddy i see you peeking around the corner no 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 you can't fool the fish what are you doing my okay, teammates gonna go fight that guy we got the advanced rev which is gonna help a ton because now we don't need to predict the enemies as much we just like know where the enemies are at dude they probably think i'm hacking like i'm just hitting straight headshots on them i know exactly where they're coming from but that's just because we are hacking no, I'm joking. I sometimes make those jokes and people genuinely think I'm hacking. I'm like, no, why would why would I say that out loud? Okay, okay. No, 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 no. One guy's exploring the whole map. I don't know what he's doing. Low-key, I'm wasting this advance with me. I need to take advantage of this and get as many kills as I can because these are going to be the easiest kills. A lot of people pop their advanced UV, then they start playing slow. I'm like, no, no, no. You got to speed it up. These are going to be the easiest kills ever. And I'm kind of happy I called it in, even though I'm not getting that many kills. Mainly because there's no flow right now. These enemies are coming from all these different angles. It's kind of hard to predict them. So I'm a little bit worried when this advanced UV runs out, if I'm going to be able to find them. We're on the 25, though, luckily. So it's only going to be a couple sketchy kills. I'm not going to push down there because aim assist in this game is so strong to where they just have to ADS on me, pull the trigger, and I'm dead. I'm going to try to get these little dudes on the edges, these little tadpoles running around. Let's see this. Playing the edges so I can limit to where I can be flanked from. I don't really want to be shot in the back. So I'm just on the edges. I only have 22 bullets. I do have a munitions box, which is going to help a lot. So I'm going to call in that munitions box right now. I really want to play more aggressive. I just want to make sure I get this nuke. So playing a little bit slower until we get the nuke. Let's make sure our secondary is reloaded. Secondary is good. So my teammates are spawning on me, which means that the enemies probably aren't spawning over here. Although this is Modern Warfare 2. So many weird things like that happen. Boom. Get this one. I saw that man running. A little sketchy. They should be coming up behind me in a second. We got the MGB. Let's freaking go. Yo, leave a like on the freaking video. We got the MGB. Let's freaking go. If we can get like 200 likes on this video, that would be awesome. I don't think likes do anything. They just look cool. So, you know, 200 would look pretty cool. If we can hit that for the MGB, let's freaking go. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoy Modern Warfare 2 and you want to get better at Modern Warfare 2, hit the fucking subscribe button. Oh, camper. Yo, yo, we got some country fools on the other team. I already knew this MGB was going to get better. Oh, should we get a double on them? A double MGB. I think we got to do it to them. Oh, my days. Yo, they're complaining. This is perfect. Let's call it. Ah. Let's call in. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. There's so many. I was going to say, let's call in this dead silence. And I just couldn't figure it out. And then there was just his whole family over there. No, 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 no. I need to kill so I can reset my daddy. I feel like I'm wasting the daddy. Come on. I got like five seconds to get a kill with it. Oh, and the daddies ran out. Where are these enemies at? What are you guys doing? No wonder it's 149 to 3. You don't even know how to play the objective. Come on, enemies. What are you doing? 
Luckily for me, I don't need to play the objective because I'll get all the kills, and which makes it very easy for my team to get the objective. Oh, look at that. They kind of figured it out. They heard me trash talking. I don't really want to kill the enemies on the hard point because I want to delay the game, and I'm just going to get the extra people running into the hard points. I want to see how many kills I can get. Holy shit, they pulled out the shotguns. Oh my god, they were like, nope, no more sea bass. We're pulling out the boomsticks, the no skill weapon, which honestly, I'm going to pick up it. Oh, he's got the Olympia. That one's not even that good. And when we died. Okay, we got 45 kills only. We got to get at least, you know, 60 kills. That's one thing about this map. Sometimes I'll get like over 100 kills. Sometimes I get like nothing. It's okay though. Let's get that man. Man's running around the shotgun. Honestly... I'm going to take them all out of the objective. Never mind. My teammates did that. <gasps> my mission right now is to find the countryman. I need to shoot that countryman. Which sounds horrible. But it's just called... Boom. Take out him. I'm going to guard the hard points. Which is going to make it so we win the game pretty quick. But that's how we're going to be getting all the kills. Oh, I just heard him. So his name is like Hugh Jorgen. Hugh Jorgen. What a name. Dude, this thing is so nasty. Oh, I love this setup. Okay, yeah, UAV. I don't want to accidentally call on that MGB. I think they're all spawning over here. Nope. Yeah, get out of my game. At 240, I'm going to call on the MGB. If I don't call it in at 240, I always forget or I'll run out of time. There should be a guy in the hard point right now. Should have left him just to delay the game a little bit more. But it's like, you know, it's hard not to get the easy kill when you see it. Oh, hell no, buddy. No, nah, dude, what the hell? Yo, we're boxing. Okay, we got the advance. We might actually be able to get the double nuke. The only thing that's going to stop us is the time. The score limits. Okay, so I'm going to let the enemies be over there. They are spawning across the map, which isn't good. I'm going to let that guy get in the hard point unless he wants to push me. Yeah, so we got a couple of people in there. I get this outsider. Boom, you're out. You're out. We're on the ruthless. Might be able to get this. I'm going to leave those enemies in there. Try to get the enemies running into the hard points. See, it's not just about winning the gunfights. It's about controlling the flow of the match. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shoot. I thought he was over there. Oh, my God. I got that completely wrong in my brain. Okay, now I'm killing too many in there. Behind you. No, dude. I just had such a big ego there that I thought I could just kill him. Like, I didn't even think I needed to get into cover. If I was a little bit closer to the nuke, I would have played that slower, obviously. Okay, we still can maybe get this. I want to see how many kills I can get. They're both on a heady, which isn't good, but my teammate just world starred them from behind because they don't have any awareness. Boom. Boom. Oh, come on. I, I got it. Oh, look at that. Look, that was a crazy need. That was actually a crazy need. So I got to call in this MGB and I'll be out 10 seconds. So I'm about to leave you guys until tomorrow, until today's stream. Yo, you should definitely join up in today's stream. We got the banger streams almost every day. It should be scheduled on YouTube by the time you're seeing this. Come on, come on. Can we get any more kills? What is this man doing? Whoa, ghost. Crazy no scope, my G. Crazy no scope. I'm still not going to call this in though. We still got five more seconds. Okay, I'm going to call it in before I completely wreck my KD. Let's freaking go, boys. Easy. MGB. Can I hit a little clip, though? Can I hit a little clip? Come on, come on. Clip with the MGB coming down now. Teammates taking the kills. Please, no. I need, like, one kill. Where are they at? No. Okay. MGB is too easy. Let's go. Get nuked. And nuked. Now it's time to trash talk him. Yo, get nuked, bozos. God damn. Oh, look at that. They all left the game. Those countrymen. Good job, man. Good job. Appreciate that, brother. Hey, 74 and 7. Damn.